Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully, and today I want to tell you about five cool hidden gems and a bonus gem uh, that are in the Tailwind ecosystem. And the, the thing that I'm going to start with are the sexy things, and we're going to get to the more boring ones, but honestly, the ones that I use the most. So the first thing I want to talk about is Tailwind Create. I'm not going to take forever to show you this. I am going to uh, just give you a really quick overview. I have a whole video. I'll link with this on how to do it. But here is what you do. So say you have a link, and I'm just making, I'm doing the thing where I, uh, uh, five hidden gems, where I do my work and I show you stuff at the same time. So here's five hidden gems. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload five pictures that I have already formatted the right way. Easy peasy, just tall and skinny, right? Um, I wouldn't even have to do that, but I do that. And I'm gonna upload, I guess, six pictures, and then I say create images. And the cool thing about Tailwind Create is that it will take those pictures, and it has a WYSIWYG feature. We're doing it in real time, I'm not pausing it. It has a WYSIWYG feature where you can go in and, um, make all different video or all different pins to share like this is a wicked cute pin right and then i could even i could say um change the color to red and that is adorable right like that is an adorable pin i will be making that so say we want to change the colors we would just click here and i can make it Let's see, I want it to be red. Maybe green is good. No, I want it that color. And then what you can do is you can come over here and you can say five hidden gems. Oh, it's thinking. It's thinking. So five hidden gems for Tailwind Create. Okay, and you can use this to make so many pins. Like this is a wicked cute pin. I would be able to, I would just change the colors on that a little bit. This one I am for sure going to save. I think this is adorable. Um, you know, I have ones that can look all different. If you didn't have a ton of pictures, they'll do ones like that. Um, they'll merge your pictures together. So you get... Um, so many different, different ways you can do it. And then you can pick a couple of favorites. So I have two favorites in here that I really love the layouts of, and I'm probably going to love one of the other pictures better. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay. So I think this, and then I would just select this. I would go to the design gallery and select another one. Now, obviously, I am not, like, I don't even have the right keyword or the, the right URL in there, but I just wanted to show you real quick. This is one of the, um, the, the coolest things about uh, the Tailwind Create is that you can do this. Okay, and so let's review our selection. So that's exciting. We've got that. I thought we selected another one. Anyways, we'll say go schedule. And it drops it right into your scheduler. So you don't even have to leave this. Um, oh, there we go. This one too, right? So then you can go ahead and put it on your boards. You can schedule. So I have pins scheduled out here for months. Because what I'll do is I'll make 9 or 10, uh, 6 to 10 different pins for this that all look very different. And then I'll schedule them out for months. So that is Tailwind Create. Number two is the communities. Now this is where you can get other people. This is like a Pinterest group board, but for that's regulated, number one. So they're on top of it. If the people don't follow the rules, then they will get kicked out. Um, but look here. See, I got 41 reshares okay in this adult craft so 
you can actually see which of your pins are popular with people that matter, right? So this crafts one is specifically for my craft pins, right? Um, so here we go. I'll show you what, what I mean. So I got seven pins, repins on this one. And that tells me that, that that's something that they like. I can look at how, what do the pins look like? This is a white pin with uh, arrow tips and ideas. Like I can really start to look and try to see which of my pins, like this magazine collage is the same pin two different ways. I didn't put it up the same day. I put it up a different day. But I can start to see, you know, which pin designs work best, which uh, topics work best, things like that. And so I have different communities I belong to. So this is the Creative Entrepreneurs. This is going to be more about Etsy and more about people who have a creative business. Um, those are the kinds of things. And what will happen is you'll find out which one. So how to look better in webcam videos. How many pins do you need to make? Etsy shipping tips, Etsy SEO. So I know if I write an Etsy blog post or if I have something that I want to promote to Etsy people, that's a great tribe. I also have, this is my very favorite tribe for my, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Caregiving for aging parents. Now, I just updated last night, so I don't have very many shares, but I want to say that with the communities, the more uh, precise you can get, the better. So this is a caregiving community that only has things for Alzheimer's, dementia. I think there's cancer in there, but it's for the people who are caregivers. So you'll see, I'll get nine, I'll get eight, I'll get seven. And that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but what it has turned into is I get over 25,000 um hits a month for caregiving posts because it's a very small number here but we're all growing caregiving communities that's why the communities is so important to your um to being able to share it's a way that you without having to join a million group boards or worry all about that tailwind has pulled them all together and we can all join those other boards now this was in my Terra. I'm going to head over to my artsy fartsy Pinterest and I want to show you one of my favorite things. Uh oh, let me move this up. So now we're going to have a couple little um, uh, statistics because I do not find the Pinterest statistics to be very good. And even on the very lowest level, you will get these statistics from Tailwind. So the thing I like the most is view your recent pins. And what comes to mind for me here is look at these shorty pins. That means that I need to get in there and see if I need to have a longer pin higher up, if I need to look at that. But you'll be able to see this is pinned via Tailwind. So that means somebody within it. This is via the widget. So that came right from my website, App Browser. Um, you can start to see, so those are all in App Browsers in app browser so these are all things let's talk about caregiving so this is oh this would be a um essential oils post for me home and fragrance set this is a classic diaper pail that would be in one of my caregiving posts right washi tape this just gives you real-time information about other people who have pinned your pins this isn't going to be on your board, this is gonna be on somebody else's board. So you can also click through and see what they're pinning it to. So this is going to a cleaning board, right? And I think that Pinterest had this before a lot easier to do. If you were to go in here and look at your, um, oh, I'm not in Pinterest. If you were to look at your Pinterest, I was able to see it really carefully in the alerts, but it wasn't, it isn't as easy as it is now. So this is a really handy way to get that back and to really see, which you never could, how are they doing that? Are they coming to your website and pinning it? So this person came to my website and pinned it from my website. These are all coming, people are coming to my website 
uh, yesterday and pinning it in the app browser, right? So uh, this was uploaded. So that's probably, let's see, that's probably one. Heal yourself naturally. Let's see. This is... This is one I originally uploaded because I use UTM codes. I uploaded this one in September. Um, and I have a video about how to do the UTM code so you can find it. So it is the very end of the year now. So September, October, November, December. So it's about three months old. But um, I uploaded that one. And then somebody shared it to their Heal Yourself Naturally. So that's very cool. All right, another one that I love is the Pin Inspector. This is also in Insights. And there's a couple things I like to do with this one. First off, I can go back to 2018, right? Um, and see that by the date pinned, okay? And so these are gonna be my best pins of all times, but if I want to see from 11-22-2020, I can see that also, right? So, so this is going to give me a way to really filter. So I got 42 repins with this, cheap craft gifts, right? So this is by the day it was pinned. So say I want, April was a really good month from, for me. I don't know why. But a bunch of my pins that were pinned in April are among my top pins for this year, okay? So if we go April to April, we'll be able to see what kind of pins did well, when they were pinned, you know, how, how they're doing. The other thing that you can do is you can do this by board. So I'm going to go back to, let's see, can we do today? This is probably my favorite report for messing around because I can do historical data and I want to see what happened this year. I want to see what happened last year. I want to compare them. Um, to me, this is super valuable data. So we want to see cheap craft ideas. Okay, so right here I can see cheap craft ideas did good. But I can also pull this down and see that, holy buckets, some of my best ones are going to cheap craft ideas. Now, does that mean I need to make new products or new things? No, but I can target that keyword search in my pins. So this pin inspector is just a brilliant one. I'm on to number four. This is the Insights Top Pins, right? So this guy is really good for figuring out, you know, your pinners, your close-ups, your saves. You can do the last seven days, the last 14 days. So I want to know the most clicked, right? You could check the most save because that is also nice to know. But the most clicked, I have almost a thousand in the last seven days to why won't your Alzheimer's parent take a shower. So these are all, um, so that's the first one. That's essential oils, but now we're back to caregivers. Um, this is an art one. This is an art one. This is an art one. Um, but this is super interesting. You can also click through to these. This one was pinned by me. Oh, it was not pinned by me. Oh, <gasps> save to dementia in volunteer. So this gives me clues. So this Rhonda who only has 316 followers and 172 following is the one that is killing it with my pin on her dementia board. So then you can follow this down and you can see this looks like this is her own personal board. And a lot of times what will happen is that you're going to do better with non, um, non-business people if Pinterest sees that it's just a normal person. Girlfriend has a lot of boards. Okay, I must have passed it. But it was in her, in her dementia board, and that made it super 
easy for Pinterest to know it was about dementia, right? And this was created on 2-5-2019. So that was uh, almost, we're coming up almost two years ago. So that's an old one. Let's look at this one. This one was saved to cleaning stuff, right? By Corey Shaw. And it was saved... this year november 10th so this is actually this is actually not a pin that i made this is a pin that she pinned from my website so she has gotten in two months well she's gotten in let's let's check it as long as we can yeah see that didn't change much she has 66,000, uh, seven days. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's about 20. She's getting me about 20,000 impressions a month, 600 clicks in the last seven days, 700 clicks in the last seven days. And do, 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 drum roll, please. 1,900 clicks in the last. 30 days so this is this is a way that you can kind of try to figure out that it doesn't matter what you do so <laughs> i pin a lot right i actually pin a lot less now but my highest clicks in the last 30 days are 517 right the things that i have directly pinned but what happens is once these things get out into your communities once these things get out and they're shared on Pinterest. They take on a life of their own. And this is where you can really start to try to figure out which of your products or services uh, or blog posts or whatever are going to do the best for you so that you can do some of them more. All right, last but not least, I want to talk. This is our bonus one. Yay. But I want to talk to you sincerely about scheduling your pins. Okay. And I used to have a super convoluted, I scheduled my pins, uh, I pinned the right first day, then I scheduled them out for about 10 weeks, and then every night I would go and pin them, and then I would share them to tribes and, or excuse me, communities and do things like that. Well, Tailwind has integrated all that, so you can be sure that your pin that you're sharing to your communities doesn't get pinned there before it gets pinned on Tailwind, on Pinterest. But the other thing that you can do now that Pinterest, at the end of 2021, now this could change again, but Pinterest does not want us to pin like crazy people, right? They're happy if we do a couple pins a day. And I don't have stuff scheduled out for too much, but I have things scheduled once a week for months. Like I have my next year's August um, Christmas stuff going out. And that way I don't have to think about it. These are pins that I know will work because those pictures worked before we saw them on, the, on my things. And I have them scheduled out for this for august 18th now there's no way as a human being i am going to be able to schedule those out on august 18th i just am not so having this scheduler um and then i hard schedule all mine meaning that they're going on a certain day and time but the neat thing about tailwind is you could just fill it into the next slots but then all my slots would fill up i'm not trying to keep my slots full I don't think anymore that having your slots full is the way to do things. I think that having a slow, consistent, over time, uh, doing your pins, getting things out. Now, I haven't, I haven't pinned for, for this week yet. So there will be more pins in here, but there's going to be like two or three a day, not at one point in time. We, as a community, were pinning 50 to 100 a day. Nowadays, you can do all your pin scheduling for the month and then not have to worry about it anymore. So 
hopefully that helped. I will make sure to put a link to sign up for Tailwind in the description below. And hopefully that helped. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.